Welcome to Coffee Calm and Connection Bite Size, where we deliver key takeaways from our full interviews on current topics from mental health experts. I, I think there's so many people out there that 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 will absolutely resonate with what we're talking about. Um, and and I am one of them, 100%. So last week, my, my husband was took time off work and did Easter holiday duty. Um, every time I came home, the house looked like, I don't know, a bomb had hit it. And I can't understand why. And, and it causes resentment. And then yeah, I get yeah, yeah. tired and grumpy. And, and all of these things are like a day-to-day -day things. But I'm just trying really to evaluate my own my own feelings towards it and whether actually the fact that he hasn't changed the empty toilet roll for the full toilet roll is yeah. because he's gone, this is not my job, this is yours as the woman, which I don't <laughs> think it is. I think he's not even seen it. It has just not entered his conscious. Um, yeah, yeah. Whereas if I point it out and say, this happens quite a lot, do you think you might be able to help me? I know he'll try his best to, to do that. Um, yeah. So it's, it's such an interesting dynamic because there are lots of relationships where that communication isn't there and there won't be the, the level best to try and help with this particular toilet roll issue, whatever it might be. Mm -hmm. uh, and that must cause huge resentment. Um, and it's this juggling act, isn't it? Well, have you, have you ever, there's, there's um, a sort of series of cartoons for, about mental load. Have you ever seen that, that sketch? And it's, it's think quite so. interesting. Um, because uh, and it's entitled "Why didn't you say so?" Right, and it's all about women that take them take the mental load of everything. Oh, you know, I've got to pack the PE kit. Oh, I've got a meeting in uh, in Hull tomorrow. I need to do this presentation. Oh, I, I, oh, I must remember sandwiches. All that stuff, right? And uh, and then you take it all on, and then uh, and then you and then you huff and you puff, and then you, you, then your partner comes in and, and goes, what, "What's up with you?" You go, oh, I'm doing all this. And they go, well, why didn't you say so? Right? <laughs> and uh, and there's, a, there's a lot of psychology behind that because a lot of the time you think, well, I shouldn't have to. You know, you know all these things. You know they've got PE tomorrow. You can pack the bag. And, um, but, uh, it, but sometimes you just have to think, well, why didn't I say so? You know, there's no point being a martyr. And, uh, and you know, there's, there's two sides to it. You know, you are you are in it together. And so actually taking responsibility should be halved. But it's down to that shared role again. Who knows who's taking responsibility for which bits? You know? <laughs> so... And also, yeah. I, do you know what? I love that. And if you can... If you can send me the details for that sketch, I'd, I'd love to yeah, include it in the show notes yeah. for this because it, it, in fact, I think it might be the title of this episode, Why Didn't You Say So? Because, <laughs> yeah. because I do that all the time. And Neil says to me, because I don't think on the levels you do, like yeah. it, 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 it's not natural to me. It doesn't, I don't think on all of those multiple levels. I think on one level at a time and perhaps that's you know a problem and I need to try and think of more levels but actually you also need to give me some of those levels give yeah, me yeah, some yeah. of those balls I'll gladly take them I just don't know you're juggling them at any one time because I don't think that way and that to me seems a fair compromise it's interesting because yeah I spent uh, you know a lot of time to talking to my partner Ollie about this and I actually sent him the mental load um cartoon and said if you read this you'll get it Right, and he's read it and he's got it. And the other day, uh, he was getting all the kids' stuff ready for school, and I noticed that the the water bottles had been through the dishwasher, and they always lose the name once they've been through the dishwasher. And he'd actually rewritten it on in 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 the sharpie pen. And I'm like, yes, he's got it. <laughs> that that <laughs> that level of detail because those are the things that he would normally forget you know he'd he'd do the lunch he'd get the water bottles but that that and i thought he's actually done that <laughs> and that detail is the thing that tips us over the edge so yes. the gratitude we have that yes. you wrote the name on the water bottle oh, and it sounds so ridiculous he's got no idea how ridiculously pleased i am with that yeah